All right, so we got a map of the courtyard. Um, okay, there's actually a way we can go and upstairs by the looks of it. So let's see what that's all about after we put away this ink drinking, of course, because I don't need that clottering my inventory. Um, as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the magnum away for now, just in case, because I have my shotgun right now. Will you take the crank? Yes, I will definitely take some of that coke. Thank you very much. Is that it? We good? We good. Okay. Just double checking. Yeah, I saw the green. Gonna, gonna get all my activities done. What was that noise? Oh, there's a zombie in here now. Okay. Oh, well, let's greet it. So let, let's be a good host, shall we? Oh. What? What? <laughs> so I'm assuming that was Daddy. I, I'm not sure I think it was the child. That's been fucked up by the T-Virus. Fair enough. Oh, you're a creepy one. I'm gonna give you a hint. Don't try to kill it, because T-Virus fires regeneration. Yeah, you have a fair point. Okay, where am I? In comparison. Run. Okay. Where to is the question, because... Away. Yeah, that's... Thanks. Okay, um... I'm gonna see if there's an, an obvious escape route that I'm missing. I'm not, okay. Okay, can, can I juke you? How hard can I juke you? I would imagine pretty hard. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's pretty hard. That is some pretty hard juking. Unfortunately, he runs, which is the bad thing. Okay. So that's the offset with that, uh... With that, um, what's it called? Safe house. Is that it's super safe, at least to get to, but you have a monstrosity inside it. To which my immediate... Well, actually, I know what my immediate question and answer is. Is that I need to go actually make progress. Instead of just wandering aimlessly. Because we know. What the. Wait, did that thing bring a pack of zombies with it? So that would be very unfortunate if that was the case. If that is the case, I'm just gonna avoid them. Yeah, it totally did! Yeah, hey, bye. Brought a single zombie. Gotchas. Yeah, no, I ain't staying here. I'm out, bro. Alright, so. Progress is being made. Uh, am I close to where you left off, Spencer? Yeah, you're like halfway there. So oh, lovely. Um, alright, so it's time to make progress, because got a new save point, I got that coke, um, and now I can actually do the main area, I imagine, because the only other way to go is that main area, because there's a little, uh, point where you go back to the courtyard, so, kinda have to stick to, uh, the main road for a little bit, and hopefully not get completely demolished by doggos. Which, how's my health doing, actually? I'm in caution, but I have two health items, so... I am relatively okay. I just I just need to time these shots right. I'm gonna wait until one of them actually aggro's onto me before I pull any triggers. I'm not gonna doom shotgun this. Come on, bring it on. Get 
ready for it. Bring it on. Yeah, that's right. Get over here. Ah, oh, get off! Off, 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 off. Oh, that insta killed me again. Okay. Hey, Spencer. Hey. Uh, what? Whoa. What? What button do you normally press to get out of that? I don't know. I've never. Ha I've, I didn't even get jumped on by those little fuckers. That's lovely. Okay. Uh, did you use the mag? I literally shoot them before they even come near me. Did 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 did, did, did you use the magnum on them? Uh, no. I used my shoddy. Okay then. Uh. That's lovely. I'm gonna. Oh, wait, I can't pick up the crank. That's right, I need to put my magnum away. Actually, you know what? Let's test the magnum. Let's test this magnum opus. Don't test it on the thing, because it won't die. Yeah, I know. I mean, the dogs. Yeah. I'm not gonna test it out on just. That thing that's going to come back right, after a while. Card, I guess. Woo! Yep. And hopefully just actually I don't know. Should I just should I just bob and weave out of there and hope for the best? Cause I know where to go from here, but it's just mm, getting... Yeah, I mean you can try to bob and weave. Alright, let's bob and weave. Yep, I see the door. I see the door. I have achieved a door. Are there any more doggos in this area that I need to be immediately worried about? Probably. Oh! There's water. That I cannot go down because the water is too high. Is that what this crank is for? Square-shaped hole. Well, let's investigate this, shall we? Yeah, that's pretty square-shaped. Yeah, all right, let's use it. Not examine it again, use it. What do you mean it's not necessary to use now? It looks pretty necessary, just saying. There you go, you just weren't at the angle that you wanted to be at. Open the floodgates. Jackpot. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in a distance. Oh, hey, and I still have it. Nice. The way is now open for the underside. Go up, Chris. Like your life depends on it. Which, because it kind of does. That's not the point. That's not the point right now, though. Run like your life depends on it. Oh, God, it's done. Oh, hey, it's an elevator. Going down. More crows. That's, that's nice. They will attack you, yes. Yeah, I figured. All right, so I need to immediately go to the right when I have the chance. Let's see what this... There are blue herbs glowing here. You don't need them right now. Okay. Go. Race to the finish. I have successfully raced to the finish. Alright, what's in here? Quite a few places, actually. Like a red herb. That I will desperately need. Alright, will I need to... What the... Oh, there are mini snakes! Oh, I don't want to deal with that. Oh, run! I ain't gonna mess with that. I'm not gonna 
to try and fight many snakes with a magnum or a knife. All right, where are we? We're in the residence area. Oh, lovely. Is this where Resident Evil comes from? Will you take the blue <laughs> egg? Yes. We're in the residence area. Now it truly becomes evil. An herb that grows, or that grows wild in this region. I don't. I didn't want to examine. I wanted to combine it. You cannot combine red and blue herbs. Okay, gotchas. There's a bunch of you. Okay. Yeah, so, there's a bunch of it. So Ooh, my anti poison. I wonder if that means there's gonna be a lot of poison. Gee, I wonder why. Um. So my immediate thought process is that can you only combine blue herbs with blue herbs? If that oh oh huh thanks game for you are officially where I am okay very nice I will launch up my game right now okay I'm gonna get stuff real quick I'm gonna put away this red herb I'm gonna put away the crank for now. I'm gonna get all this extra stuff in here. Will you take the ink ribbon? Yes, I will take those three ink ribbons. Will you take the first aid spray? I will definitely take that first aid spray. All right, I'm gonna save. Yes, I will save here because progress was made here. And I don't wanna have to go through all those basically insta-killing dogs. No. Um. Okay. Let's put these with the other ink ribbons. Pull you away here. I will bring the fuel canister so I can fill it up with in this place. Yes. Is there anything else I really need? Oh yeah, I'm gonna see if the blue herb combines with the blue herb, and if not, then oh well. I'll put both blue herbs. Actually, I'll just put all the blue herbs away. Right? Why not? Am I doing backwards? No, I'm going the way I need it to. Oh, you can't combine blue herbs with blue herbs either. Okay. I think blue only goes with green. That's how most of it's gone. Okay. Um, fair enough, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna put the blue herbs away for now. Just gonna put them safely in the item box until I need them at a later date. Equip the grenade launcher. Let's go. That thing I remember I, what I was doing. That thing I don't have. Um... I want to make sure this area is green, so yeah, I want to pick up everything I can in each room. Alright, is it green now? It is, oh, okay. Fucking wreck me. Did you go outside? <laughs> I mean, I have a magnum, so we're gonna find out if it's that close by. Let's go it out. Also has magnum. Oh, hey, there's a little, there's a little crate I can push. Okay, let's go out this ominous front door first and see what happens. Yeah, totally. Hey! Go in the front door again, please. Nope. <laughs> literally crawls down the front door. Oh, goodness. If, if, if anyone wants to go back to a previous episode, I don't know how he's gonna cut it up. But, that's what I was freaking out about last time. Oh, that... I was like, oh, Jesus, fire! <laughs> that literally gave me chills, because it's a tarantula. Uh, it got me too. Oh. It's like, it wasn't even the fact that it was that scary, it's just that, oh, tarantulas are terrifying. You don't like tarantulas? No, they are just monsters of humanity. 
Some of them are cute. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh, hey! So there's an, actually a little thing here. Gotcha. Alright, let's see where this other door leads to. A room with some artifacts. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. That window's left open, and I don't like that. Can we close that, please? Nope, okay. Newspaper, why scatter about? They all seem to contain articles about stars. Gee, I wonder who left that around. They're all stars. This per whoever this person is, they know they're stars. <laughs> Welcome to TARS. Zero, zero, two. That's just lovely. What are you? You are glowing. There's a map of the residence. Will you take it? Yes. Okay, so front door. That has a whole bunch of stairs. Okay, that leads to a couple of things. Okay, so uh, I'm getting a good sense in this. There's a hole in the wall. You see a giant beehive. Oh. That was not, ow. Go through the door, ow. Fucking bees. This area is just, I, I see the theme in this area and it's all about, it's all about uh, animals. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plan at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group plants, the T-virus has had a subst uh, or substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutri nutrients. One source is through its roots. Somehow it has rooted itself into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the 40, of plant 42 has been sighted hanging on the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of requiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses, pr senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vines will drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. It's like, okay, here's my immediate follow-up question. How how did several die to this thing? How come it wasn't just the one? The one guy that wanted to see what would happen. And, no, we have several people who died from this. <laughs> this is a tango of, I wonder what would happen. I wonder, I wonder what, what will happen. happen. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, when we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if uh, was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May, 30, May 21st, 1998. Henry Sar Sarton. Gotcha. So we know what we're going to be up against later on. Cthulhu! Ah, a plant Cthulhu, basically. Why, was, uh, why, does the, why does the plant close? No thanks. 
Uh, the thing from Undertale. Yeah. yeah, Flowey, basically. So I got very lucky when I used my Magnum and I decapitated that zombie's head instantly. Also, I am 45% sure that was Henry Sarden we just encountered. I want to get everything done that I can in this room, so that way I never have to bob and weave with the, uh, the bees. Frickin' bees. Yep. Oh, there's a ladder? And we get to climb down. Okay. Yeah, I haven't even touched that yet. I'm in the other room with the spider. Oh. I oh, was just it because of how it looks. I was like, oh. This is the aqua ring. Okay. Well, let's explore here then while we're at it. There's a door we can obviously open, so. That door we cannot open. Okay. You know what? It'd probably be a smart idea to do this, honestly. Oh, I get you. You get to be right there, blocking that door for me. Oh, I get you. Okay. Uh, restart the room. Got it. Yes, I will climb up the ladder because I need to restart the room. Get away from me, spider. Are there, is there more than one spider? Yes. That's terrifying. Like, straight up, that is terrifying. Yeah, he just wants some love. I don't think it's love he wants. Just personal opinion. <laughs> just personal opinion. A, one of two. Okay. Pretty sure there's no amnesia water-like creature in this game, so I think I'm safe. Now we have one more to finish this all off. Don't fuck with me, B. Don't fuck with me, bees. I think they do want to mess with you. They really want to mess with me. Yeah. And that's that's what wasps do. They are the uh, they are the plague. That is the animal kingdom. That isn't that isn't personal opinion either. That is a straight up fact, my friends. <laughs> That's a fact. Wasps and hornets are basically the plague of the insect kingdom. Okay, wasps and hornets, yes. Bees actually have a function. Bees and bumblebees actually have a purpose to them. Wasps wasps are just evil. Agreed. Oh. I feel like I know what I'm walking into now, and I'm immediately terrified. Oh boy, yeah it is. Oh goodness. Block from the other side. Mm, I don't want to swim in that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I knew this was coming. This was also on the box art for the GameCube version of Resident Evil. Oh goodness. Run! Oh, there's multiple! Oh! Ow! Turn back! <laughs> Abandon all hope, all you who answer here. Ow, why'd you hit me again? Don't bite me. Back from hell, heathen! Uh, yeah, we ain't going back in there again until 
the water strains. Oh, how much damage did that actually do to me? Oh, goodness. It's okay. Oh, and there's actually a door I can go through in that. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not, I'm not touching that. I ain't touching that, boy. That's... Did you do the box puzzle? Yeah, I did. I'm doing it right now. Okay, have fun. Did you use all three of the boxes? Because that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, that, I, I did. I did. Even though I was extremely tempted to use uh, one of the boxes to block the other door. Yeah, no. All right, let's go through this odd side door over here. Is that gonna have a typewriter in it? Or is that just... I can't carry any more items. There's an item in here. Why was my controller vibrating? Will you take the resonance key? Yes, please. Water is leaking from the tank. <gasps> it's underwater. Oh, cutscene. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, my controller disconnected. Oh, That's lovely. God. Yeah. What? Yeah. Dude, they're evil, and they do so much damage. Oh, so my immediate thought process now is where do I go? Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> uh, there's a door in the middle, you- What? Go, go, go through the door. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you made it through the door. Okay. What, what? Okay, you said discard, so I immediately think you used a key. Yes. Did you use the residence key? No. Okay. I found another key. Okay. Well, I need to find whatever that key is then. Oh Do you know? God, that was terrifying. Yeah, it was. <laughs> It would, and, it, and guess what? It would be hilarious.